what was the principle of max mini and mini max according to that principle the profit of one firm will be loss of another firm hello everyone a very good morning how are you all so guys last time we discussed a very important and interesting topic of economics and that was game theory okay and we in game theory we observed that zero sum gain principle principle of max mini and mini max was being followed okay what was the principle of max mini and mini max according to that principle the profit of one firm will be loss of another firm no yeah? and vice versa if one firm is making a profit then the another firm is going to make the loss by the same amount okay but this condition is not always fulfilled in each and every case pragmatically in real life this condition is not always fulfilled what i mean i mean that let's say we have got two firms firm a and firm a and firm b so both the firms can make loss or one firm can make loss another can be no profit no loss condition so in such cases the principle of mini max and max mini are obli are not obligated okay therefore we have got a new condition a new theory and this is the theory of prisoner's dilemma fine to understand prisoner's dilemma i have given few conditions few things are written so let us say let us understand this concept so let's say we have got two thieves okay and the name of the thieves are salim and jack fine salim and jack are two thieves and they have committed a theft fine and police arrest them but the problem with police is that police does not have any proof to uh, <clears throat> police does not have any proof against them so now what can police do so police interrogates them and tells them about the three conditions that they have what are the conditions the conditions are let's say if one of the two either salim or jack testifies against the other for example let's say salim testifies against jack so if salim testifies against jack then what will happen then salim will get 0 years in prison that means he will be set free whereas jack will spend 10 years in prison right jack will be punished and salim will be let free okay and that vice versa is also true if one of the two testifies against the other fine now another condition is that if both of them testify against each other right that means salim testifies against jack jack testifies against salim then both of them will get 5 years each in prison that means salim will spend 5 years in prison and jack will also spend 5 years in prison fine and another condition that if both the thieves that is salim and jack both of them prefer to remain silent that means no one testifies against the other then each of them will spend 2 years in prison fine so this is a condition that is known as prisoner's dilemma and in accordance to this i have drawn a table also we will understand it elaborately but to give you the outview of it what happens in the end is that both salim and javed will testify against each other salim and jack sorry both salim and jack will testify against each other and why so see this happens because if jack is being interrogated and he is being given these three options so what will jack try to do he will try to testify against salim because he is scared that if he remains silent and salim testifies against him 
he will get 10 years in prison yes or no same is the case with salim also salim thinks that if he remains silent and jack testifies against him then salim will have to spend 10 years in prison so salim also testifies against jack so thereby in the end both will testify against each other and both will get 5 5 years in prison this is known as prisoner's dilemma they are in dilemma they are not sure that if they remain silent and other testifies against them then they will have to serve a longer sentence so under this dilemma they testify against each other hmm? they are in this dilemma this dilemma is called prisoner's dilemma so guys if you observe this so what's happening both are losing in this case yes or no both salim and jack both have to serve the sentence five years each but yes both are serving both are losing in this case right or wrong so this is certainly the violation of zero sum game hmm? fine yes or no okay now let us understand this with the help of table but before moving on to table we have to understand one strategy that is known as dominant strategy right before understanding the table we must know the dominant strategy now what is dominant strategy it is a type of the strategy where one player will be optimal right meaning that one player is going to make his choices irrespective of the fact that what his rival is making hmm? irrespective of the fact or irrespective of the choices of his rival one player is going to make his own choices his choices will be optimal that is known as dominant strategy so actually in prisoner's dilemma dominant strategy is followed that means players are going to make their choices irrespective of the fact that what other player is going to do clear yes or no okay now to understand that how this dominant strategy works what's the concept let us see this table so here along the vertical column i have taken jack right and along horizontal column i have taken salim and i have written the condition testify against salim or remain silent right these two conditions are available to each of them so jack has got these two conditions and salim has got these two conditions yes or no okay now let us see now let us say that salim or let's start from jack let's say jack decides to testify against salim fine jack decides to testify against salim so if jack has decided to testify against salim then salim has got two options either he can testify against jack or he can remain silent now see if salim testifies against jack salim will get 5 years in prison and if salim remains silent he will get 10 years in prison so which is lesser bad lesser bad for salim is to testify against jack so salim will choose this strategy yes or no right clear salim will choose to testify against jack fine okay now let us say jack chooses to remain silent jack chooses to remain silent fine again salim has got two options he can remain silent or he can testify against jack now if salim remains silent here if salim remains silent he will get two years in prison whereas if salim 
testifies against Jack, he will get zero years in prison. So guys, what will be the decision of Salim? He will obviously testify against Jack. Yes or no? Because then he would be set free. So, again, Salim will testify against Jack. Fine. Right? If Jack has chosen to remain silent, then too Salim will testify against Jack. So see guys, that's how the dominant strategy is obliged. Irrespective of the choice of Jack, irrespective of the cho choice of Jack, whether Jack is testifying against Salim or he is not testifying against Salim, Salim still chooses to testify against Jack. Yes or no? So, strategy of Salim is quite optimal. Clear? Whether Jack testifies or does not testify, Salim chooses to testify. Yes or no? Hmm? Okay. And you can apply this concept vice versa also that if Salim chooses to testify against Jack then Jack has got two, uh, two options what will he do right either he will testify against Salim so yes he will testify against Salim and if Salim chooses to remain silent then what will Jack do so again Jack has got two options if he test if he remains silent Okay, then he will get two years. But if he testifies, then he will get zero years. So obviously, again, he will testify. Clear? So that's it. I hope the concept is very much clear to you. The concept of prisoner's dilemma. It is very important for our economics optional paper for UPSC. Okay, and we discuss this topic in a great length. I hope I have made you aware of this concept. But the great length discussion of the topic is done in our Plutus IAS classes of economics batch. Okay, and guys, a new batch is getting started from 24th of October. So what are you waiting for? Huh? Come up fast and join the classes to improve your economics and perspective of selection in UPSC. Thank you. Mm -hmm.